Good evening, people. Hello, hello. Luis, ladies, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. Good night, teacher. I <laughs> say good evening. Good evening. It's very good. Good, good night. Can you say goodbye? Uh, Listo. Okay, so it's better to say good evening, Luis. Say good evening. Okay. Yes. So good night is going to say goodbye. Good night, goodbye. Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Good night means goodbye. Uh, are you ready, Luis? Uh, yes, uh, I am. Uh, el, uh, el pasatiempo de mi mejor amigo. Uh, your, your best friend's uh, hobby. Uh, hobby, the, right? My friends. Okay, I hope that you are ready. Hope you're ready because we're going to start in some minutes. Yes. Uh, let us wait a little bit for the rest, okay? I only have three participants. Let us wait a little bit so that everybody can uh, participate actively. Hello, Carlos, Josue, good evening. Hope you're there. Ladies. Good evening, uh, teacher. Okay, Carlos, Jose. How are you doing? I'm How are fine. you? I'm fine. You? I'm fine. You? Fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, ladies got here. Ellen Nilsson is getting connected, okay? For participants. Well, fortunately, tonight we're not going to have any problem with that, with Zoom. <laughs> Yesterday we had a lot of problems with it. Let us wait a little bit, okay, so that the rest uh, gather people. Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready. Okay. I had a problem with Zoom. With Zoom. Sí. Yeah. Ya yeah. No I, I, I noticed about it, eh, Lenilson. Don't worry. Uh, hopefully, today you don't have any problem, right? Hopefully. It's eight o'clock. And uh, well, you know what? We're going to start by, by, um, where you see Fatima got into the class. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Did you have any? Didn't you have any problem to get into the class tonight? One, two, three, four, five, participants. Okay, well, we're going to start, people, you know, otherwise we're not going to take advantage of time. Well, uh, yesterday, yesterday uh, you talked about the activities you do during the week. Is that right? Interesting activities, right? Like uh, go running, do exercise, lift weight. Let me see if you remember about what we started yesterday. Luis, do you remember... Uh, something related to the to the class we had yesterday.
What was the class all about yesterday, people? Jennifer got into the class. Hello, Jennifer. Good to see you here. Hope. Hello. Okay, now that's it, right? You, you don't have any travel tonight with the microphone. Good to see you here. Okay, uh, let me see. Well, yesterday we were talking about the, the activities we developed during the week, a typical week line. And for example, Jennifer, you didn't you didn't uh, participate about the humble, right? Okay, so l let us know now about what you usually do during the week. Fatim, uh, Jennifer, sorry. No revisé la clase ahora, coach. Ayer no estuve en la clase y no la revisé ahora. Eh, no, no. Um, no okay. <laughs> yes, because yesterday you had problems with, with Zoom, right? Uh, teacher, uh, um, uh, activity. Uh, uh, hubieron dos, uh, las últimas dos uh, de, la, de la que dejó ayer en la noche ya para finalizar, que no sé por qué siempre me, me da error. No me la marca como, como que correcta y, y, lo, y lo he puesto así, pero siempre me da que, que son incorrectas la, las respuestas. I really, I really, Luis. Sí. Yo, eh, Tisha, yo tuve problemas con, con, con el ejercicio, quiero ver, cuatro de, okay. de, de la plataforma. Why don't we check it? Cuando cuando selecciono todas y le doy a enviar, pum, me saca de la, de, de, no me da si estaban buenas o estaban, estaban malas. Okay, so we're gonna check it, don't worry. I think I have them ya la, ya la, ya la, la quinta, sí, la, la, la hice, sí. me salió bien. Y esto estoy pendiente con la primera de estas de ayer, pero como no he visto el video completo de la clase de ayer, Okay, so why don't we check it now? If you say you had some problems yesterday, okay, let's check it now. The what what was the number people? That this was the the exercise, right? Is that right, people? Do you see the exercise? You see the exercise, people. Got, yes. got, okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna solve it as soon as possible because we can have some review meanwhile the rest of the people got there. Okay. Now the only thing that you need to do over here is to unscramble, right? And scramble the mm -hmm. the sentences. Okay. You have yes. only affirmative, and you have negative statements, right? And the first one we solve it yesterday. Uh, what is the way you you solve it? I sleep. I. Okay, it needs to be capital letter, right? I. Give me one I second. Sleep. I sleep. I sleep. At, at night. At night. <clears throat> okay, in the period, right? So far, so good. Okay. If don't forget about the period, because if you forget about the period, so the, the platform is going to take it wrong. Okay. I sleep. I at a, a period at the final. Yeah, period at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other way, it, the platform will take it wrong. Second yes. one. Yes, I am. Second one. The work. Okay, he works. He works. Oops. He works. Uh -huh. He works in a factory. factory. In a factory. In a factory. In a factory. Simple like that, right? So he works in a factory. In in a number. Factory. Yeah, number three. You go to the cine. To go to the cinema, right? Cinema. Well, Capital yeah. letter. You see, you. You go. Go you, to this. You go cinema. to. Huh? Cinema. You, you, cinema. you go to the cinema. 
period. You Cal, go this yeah. Way. Remember, you need to start the sentence with by using capital letter. You, okay. I'll you go to the cinema. Okay. Yeah, and the period at the end. Now, Portuguese doesn't she speak? She, she speaks Portuguese. She doesn't, she doesn't speak Portuguese. She doesn't speak Portuguese. She doesn't she does speak, 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 speak por Portuguese, Portuguese is a Portuguese. language. So that's why you need to use capital letter also. Capital letter. Portuguese and the period. Portuguese. The word. So capital letter. Uh, don't forget to, to type the no. The, the apostrophe. This is the apostrophe. And also, capital letter at the beginning. Okay. Just right. All right. Number five. We use, we use, okay, don't computers, we use. We use, the, no, you don't you use don't? computer. You don't? Where's you? Don't use the computer. We don't we, use computer. We don't don't use use computer. Yes. Well computers. Computers. Use okay. so the we, Yeah. Like we don't use computers, period. Oh, and that's it, right? So we only have like five but, statements. So we're gonna easy. check it. Yeah, we're gonna check it. Okay, as you can see. I sleep at night. Okay, it's okay. No problem, right? Number two, he works in a factory. We don't have any problem. Number three, you go to the cinema. We don't have any problem, right? She doesn't speak Portuguese, so we have it over here, right? She doesn't speak Portuguese in the period, right? And let me see the other one that's we don't we don't use computers. So I, I think that's everything about it, people. Yeah. Tell me. Uh what is exercise are you working? I'm working the exercise number six, right? Okay. Number six. Okay, so but well. Tonight, I will stop sharing now. Uh, sorry, but I will, I will stop sharing because I need to say hello to everybody. Okay, I have Jennifer, Fatima, ladies, Carlos, Ellen Nilsson, Henry, and William, right? I have William here, uh, Henry there, Ellen Nilsson. Well, I got like eight participants in hopefully the rest can gather. Can get into the class tonight. Okay, I also have Liz there. Well, people, um, tonight I will share something so that you can um, pay special attention over here. Well, I have, sorry, but I, I have something here. Okay. We have another listening, right? Uh, we're gonna um, learn another idiom, just as they we started with this kind of exercises, right? And tonight we we're gonna continue. Where you are trying to get an online MBA or just going to a local college, there are a number of things you have to consider, including location, cost, and the reputation of school. What factor is most important to you? Well, that is extra information, right? But I have, for example, the following information about idioms. A walking encyclopedia. A walking, a, that's an idiom, people. Sorry, a walking encyclopedia. Uh, it refers to someone who seems to know everything. Okay, my roommate will do well on a trivia game show. He's a walking encyclopedia. The next one is 
have the right sí, staff. Have the right staff. Have the need skills to succeed. Susan has the right staff to get into any school she chooses. Okay, so over here, well, we're gonna go over the activities again, like trying to get as much information as possible, like the way we did yesterday. Okay, and for example, I have the first question over here. What does the man uh, want to do after he graduates? Simple present, as you can see, right? Uh, he hopes to go on to graduate school. He wants to work at a hotel. He wants to become a teacher. Well, yesterday I told you to study this, right? Okay. Espero hayan, hayan resuelto este ejercicio. Lo vamos a, a trabajar un poco rápido. Porque esta era una de las actividades que yo les asigné ayer. What is a woman's major? Okay, so remember every single word matters so here. What is a woman's major? History, French, computer science. How does the woman pay for the college? She received a scholarship. Okay, scholarship. Okay. Oops, oh my goodness, that was a mistake. I committed a mistake. Okay, but now you know the, the answer, right? She has a part-time job. Her parents are paying for it. Now the next one is, where does the man work part-time? In a library, yes. at a restaurant, or Who at a bakery? We don't see it. Do, do you see the info, people? Do you see the information? Okay, as I told you, right? Hey, what thing did the man not say about his job? He works long hours, his co-workers are friendly, or the pay is okay, the payment, right? Well, <laughs> we're gonna go over it, take notes, we're gonna listen to it a couple of times, and then we're gonna try to answer, okay? Oh, hi Dave, long time no see. Hi Maria, I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly, and the pay isn't bad. All right. Now, I think you got a lot of information, right? Hey, what does the man want to do after he graduates, people? Tell me one answer, please. We're going to go over it as soon as possible. Jennifer, Ellen Nilsson, Luis, he Lady. He hopes to go on the graduate school. Uh, he hopes to go on to graduate yeah. school. This one, number one, Dean. Okay. No. I'm sorry. Oh, he, wants. he wants to go to a hotel. That's what no. he he wants to become a teacher. No, 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 I'm sorry. This is this is what the person said. He said, Oh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's try with number two. 
Uh, where is the woman's major? Computer science. Computer science. Computer science. All right. So she said, well, when I first started college, I wanted to be here in French, but I realized I might I might have a, a hard time finding a job using language. So I changed majors to computer and science, all oh, with the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry. It shouldn't be as difficult. Excellent, very good. So a computer science. What about this one? Well, I'm sorry, I committed a mistake. I, I selected this um, by mistake. Uh, it was my mistake. So, but how does the woman pay for college? She she received a scholarship. Okay, she said, well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship. Wow, that pays for all of my tuition and books. Okay, look for, for vocabulary, people. And the last one, no, 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 it's not the last one. Where does the man work part-time? Where are people? In a library, at a restaurant, or at a bakery? In a library. Restaurant? In a restaurant or, okay, in a library, you have three options, according to what you, you hear. In a library, at a restaurant, or at a bakery. Restaurant. Okay, you say restaurant? All right. They say, yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Near campus. Yeah. Number, okay, the, the next. What thing did the man not say about his job? His co-workers are friendly. But, but listen, it says not say, the person didn't say. The person didn't mention the information. I mean, I, I don't know, he works long hours, his co-workers are friendly or the he pay is okay. Co -work workers. He works how long hours? Ah, all right, pretty good. Now let's see if, if this is the correct one. Good, it's okay. Uh, the other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. So he talked about this. And he also talked about the payment, right? So the only one that he didn't mention is the first. Excellent, people. Excellent. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> well, I will close this. I will share the link. So in case you, you didn't you didn't find it out <laughs> in a book. All right, but that is the link. Now here we have a second one. No, but this is the one we studied yesterday, right? <laughs> Throwing a towel. <laughs> Throwing a towel. This this is what we studied yesterday, right? Her and pounds gain yeah, weight. Okay, so we're gonna go over the activity that I have prepared tonight. Okay, this we started this yesterday. Oh, uh, well, I will stop sharing this info so that I can share the information I got for you. Okay, people. What is the topic for tonight? We're going to go over a present simple. Pay attention. Now, later, you are going to present your own information. Después van a presentar su propia información. Okay, lo que encontrar. Voy a tratar de explicar lo mejor que pueda esto de presente simple. Y vamos a ver algunos ejemplos, ¿ok? Ya desde ayer y ahora, pues, estamos con presente simple. Oh, let me see. Present simple. Well, when do we use it? Who, who helps me to read? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? When do we use the present simple? When do we use it? When do we use present simple? All right, to describe things that happen regularly. Okay, something that you regularly do. I wake up at six. At ten. Ten. Oh, you will say a. I at six, 10 a.m. All right. Now, to describe things or activities yes. that happen regularly. Right. 
Now, could you please provide another example, people? Could you please provide another example? ¿Me pueden regalar otro ejemplo que lo pongamos acá? Ya sé en el chat lo que me lo dicten. After that, after that, brush my, my, my dear. O sea, se... Okay. Pues me cepillo los dientes. Brush my, brush my dear. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth every day, right? Si lo colocamos every day, todos los días. Every day. I brush my teeth every day. All right? Okay, very good. So I brush my teeth every day. Okay, so to the price. I movie. Ah, you watch a movie? You, watch did, you, movie. you want to include another one? I right, watch... Uh, sorry. Movie. I watch movies at night. Yes. At night. Okay, so we have another example there. So we got three examples, people. One, two, and three. Now, when, uh, what is the other way to use present simple? When, uh, when do we use present simple? To describe things which are generally true. Water freezes at zero uh, degrees. <laughs> okay, I play, say, Jennifer, Fatima say, I take my breakfast every morning, all right? Okay, and this is a general truth, right? The sun rises in the east. Okay, so that's another one. Okay. Uh, water boils. Okay. Now, remember we have present simple form for affirmatives. And as you can see the information here, I yesterday I told you, right, about mm -hmm. the person singular and the importance wow. about it, right? Third person singular. As you can see, I play, you play, but when you get over here, you, you need to notice about the verb and the verb uh, uh, to the verb in it uh, has been included, okay? I play, you play, he plays, she plays, he plays. Right. When right. we... When we get into the first person plural, it remains the same. Okay, like this one. Play, play. You play, and they play. So this is the way it works, okay? But uh, actually, it is not only that, okay? It is not only that, because we need to go over some more information. I got some more info over here. And take a look at it. Present simple form, third person singular. Okay, third person singular. He, she, it. Once again, he, she, it. Yes, she. Okay, and over here, well, I will try to make it. Okay, I think it's better over here. Okay, usually uh, with the majority of the verse, the only thing you need to do is to, to add an S. Okay, say right, you include the S, writes. Okay, he, she, it, sorry. He, she, it. Writes, verbs, ending, in, double S. X, C, H, S, H. What, what do you need yes. to do? You need to add E, S. Example, keys, double S. You add E, S, kisses. Fix. Okay, well, there are some others over there, but you, you, will, you will see some of them. Verbs, including or uh, ending in O, O, 
you add ES to that verb. Example, well, over here I have fix, fix. This is, this belongs to this one, right? Fix, fixes. Now with O, go, go, goes. Uh, if the verb ends in Y, you need to change the Y. Now in this case, ah, this is different, right? You have vowel plus Y. You have vowel plus Y. What are you gonna do in that case? You only add an S. The verbs ending in a consonant, consonant, Y, consonant. And Y, you need to change the Y for I and add ES. Example, fly, flies, okay? So this is the person singular, positive statements, people, positive statements. Is there any question about it? Do you have any question? Is there any question, people, about this? Hello? Yes, yes. Después del verbo, bueno, un verbo que lleve una la I, la I griega, ¿verdad? Se le agrega el I, E. Yes, exactly. I, E, S. I, E, S. I, E, S. Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Y you need you need to have a consonant plus y. 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 For example, y. L and y. y. Fly. Another y. one. Cry. Cry. This is another y. one. Cry. <clears throat> the word cry, cry, cry. Yeah, so it, it becomes cries. The only thing you need to do is to add es. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Now we're gonna practice later. Don't worry. It's I'm that clear. clear. Yeah. Now, in negative statements. We continue with the same, right? We continue with the okay. same. Third person singular. Um, but over here, you are going to use the auxiliary does. Does not, okay? Does, does not. Does not. Yeah. Doesn't is the same as does not. Yes. not. This is the same, right? Not. Does not play, doesn't play, but uh, commonly when yes. you speak, you don't say does not, right? Say doesn't. Does not. Okay. Now, and also something else that you need to notice over here is that the verb remains in the base I mean, form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it no, remains no, in the no, base no, form. No, no. Yeah, but it changes. No, what changes no, no. is the auxiliary. No, no. He doesn't, she doesn't, he doesn't. No, no. But no, no. I don't, you don't, no, no. we, no, no. you, and they no, no. don't. They don't. All right. Now, is there any question over here, people? Do you have any question here? Is the tool como la horchata? Sorry? Is the clear como la horchata, isn't it? It's as clearly as horchata, okay. Okay, now... Now, a, and this is what really matters to me tonight, okay? The, the previous one, the uh, the, yeah, the previous information was the information we have been studying, but this one is the one that we're going to go over tonight. Uh, you, you can see, same happens over here, right? Third person singular. Where, have, like... You are going to start with does. Does he, does, does. she, 
the seed and the play, I mean, and the bear remains the same. Okay. Yes. Do I play? Do you play? Does he play? Does she play? Does it play? Uh, do we? Do you? And do they? But um, what, what you need to notice is about the auxiliary does in third person singular. And that since it is a question, don't forget to use the question mark. And also to pronounce it like a question, right? Does he play? Yes, he does. Or no, he does. Okay, so info about person simple, positive, negative, and interrogative. So far, so good? Está bien hasta acá? Because we're going to start uh, practice. We're going to start practicing the exercise. Now, if you have questions, let me know it now. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, who got some excellent information? ¿Quién investigó? ¿Quién encontró una PowerPoint diferente? Que la quiera compartir. No? Because if you didn't, we're going to go over the activities uh, just right now. Okay. Okay, this is what we start, started yesterday, all right? She makes many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It helps workers be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. And she doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry boxes. Cindy doesn't sing. It doesn't help. My boss doesn't talk. And we, we solved this exercise, right? So we were missing like one of these. Solo nos quedaron esas dos últimas. ¿Cómo lo, lo terminaron? ¿Cómo completaron esas dos últimas? I I write con okay. S al final. With S? Are you sure? Mm. Seguro que va con S? Ah, no, 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 sin S. Okay, so I write. Sí, porque es primera persona. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Now let me see the other one. Mario not not keep the record of the merchandise. He Mario keeps. Yeah, but it says not keep. Not keep. Not it is a negative statement. Does okay. Does not doesn't. Mario doesn't, doesn't. Keep. keep a record of the merchandise. He, he what? This is a verb. Buy. The person, right? He buys. He buys, good. Okay, now you're done with this exercise. Ahora sí ya tienen todo de este ejercicio. Okay, and yesterday well, we were talking about, about the conversation. And well, in, or, in order to start with something different, okay, I want you to talk about what your uh, boyfriend does. Ahora te voy a chequear la tarea. De qué es lo que hace, qué es lo que no hace su mejor amigo. Ok. Hope you are ready. I hope you are ready. Ok, we start with. Oh, 
Jennifer Hernandez. Go ahead, Jennifer. Okay. Uh, my be my best friends in the morning um take a shower and after that prepare. Okay, okay, Jennifer. I'm so sorry. You say my best friend take or takes. Take. <laughs> take or takes. It's because take. we're talking about the person, right? Singular. Yeah. He, she, he or she, right? So I think what what's what's your best friend's name? Uh Ceci. Uh, so it's a lady, right? So she yes. plays, she goes, she studies, she cleans. She runs, okay, doing the favor to make emphasis in the, in the third person singular. Quiero que hagan énfasis en la tercera persona, lo que les acabo de explicar. Que el verbo, dependiendo cuál verbo sea, se le va a agregar S. Ok. Y, y tratemos de, de poner en práctica lo que, lo que hemos visto. Eh, carry, tercera persona sería carries. Study, studies. Mm. Work, works. Speak, speaks. All right? So let us try to do our best, okay? I'm so sorry to interrupt, Jennifer. Okay. Um, my my best friend, uh, your name is Ceci. Um, in the morning, uh, takes takes a shower um after that prepare prepare um prepare your breakfast after that um she she's go to the work Um, later prepare prepare for you este prepara el almuerzo es um, permítame prepare a lunch for 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 the children and after after that watching tv in the night she worked the part after that Eh, regresa a su casa eh, retur return home eh, and then to sleep Okay, Jennifer, now look at the chat, please. Something that you need to keep in mind is that in order to create um, complete sentences, we, uh, you need a subject, you need the verb, and you need a complement. Para, para hacer oraciones completas, no se nos olvide el sujeto. Okay, uh, for example, I, I may say, uh, Esperanza takes a shower, um, prepares breakfast, 
it goes to work, prepares lunch. Okay, but you need to create like complete sentences. Vamos a crear oraciones completas, okay? Lo otro, en el, en el chat, coloqué lo, los verbos, algunas oraciones que usted dijo, para hacer énfasis en tercera persona. She takes a shower. She prepares breakfast. She goes to work. Goes. She prepares lunch. Uh, she watches TV. She comes back home and she sleeps. Señorita. <laughs> Okay, so it may be that way. No, but it was was quite good, Jennifer. It was really good. Esperanza, go ahead, please. Uh, weekly rot routine, my best friends. Uh, your name is Sandy Moreno. Uh, Esperanza, my name? Or her your name? Your name. Her, her your name. name. Her. Uh, her name. Her name is... Is Sandy Moreno. Okay. Um, she works uh, a company. Works. From, Sorry, she works. She works or she works? She works. Okay, thank you. She works a pharmaceutical company. Uh, she, um, uh, the morning, the uh, Monday, uh, a Friday a morning a visit a company with trade company a document documentation. Uh, she uh, visit or she visits? She visits. Okay. Uh, her visit pharmacies uh, remote experience Products, payment management, go to build order. Uh, okay, go or she goes? She goes. She to goes. Build order. She goes to build order. Her enter order in company uh, in the night. Uh, she goes goes to the gym. Return. She returns at home. Is is está casada? She's married. She she has three three daughters. Solamente. Wow, excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Esperanza. Okay. Anyways, remember, right? Uh, it seems as if, uh, well, you need to get accustomed to uh, pronouncing the, 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 the third person singular. But actually, you did a great effort. Thank you. Let me see. Luis Reyes, go ahead. After Luis, we are gonna, we're going to hey, have Den Denise participation. Yes, uh, my friend Elam uh, is a uh, passion about repairing and computer and using programs programs uh, uh, to edit out and and in the morning goes for a run. All right, in the morning she goes for a run. Something else, please. Uh, my friend, Elam, is a passionate uh, about repairing a computer and as uh, aim using a program, a, a deep, a deep audio. Uh, and, and in the morning, a uh, goes for a run. Okay, she goes, she goes running. Thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. Okay, little by little. Denise, 
please do me the favor to share the information about your best friend. Okay. Uh, my best friend's name is Vanessa. My best friend grew up and make breakfast for his daughter. Uh, I'm sorry, Denise. My best friend get up or my best friend gets up? Um, get up. Gets up. Okay. Gets up. Okay. Gets up. And make and make breakfast for his daughter after she receives class. She goes to work and wait for his daughter to do homework. He comes home at night and prepares dinner. Prepares. Excellent. Now, yes, right. That's what I want you to do. Ahora sí. Creo que ya se están fijando. Eso es lo que yo quería, que, es que se fijen más en, en cómo va el verbo, ¿ok? Que, que todos, que todos se, se empiecen a, a... Eso tiene que quedar este, siempre en sus mentes de que el verbo hay que... Cuando lo vamos a conjugar, hay, si vamos a conjugar en tercera persona, hay que hacer énfasis en el sonido, ¿verdad? ¿no? Si es play, plays, work, works. Ok, thank you, Denise. Jessica, Noemi. Hello, Jessica. Good evening. Are you there? Un nivel teacher. Ay, siempre apago el micrófono. Ok, um, go ahead. Bye. A mí me cuesta hablarlo mucho, teacher, pero vamos a hacer el intento. Dice, All right. My friend is Odalis. She get who very rarely to prepare bra brackets. Desayuno, dice. I launch for her children to go to work she restore eh, home home ha, home hat fibe y she no, no, day at four and four and from six a a En la noche dice, she is a chore, she do, does, 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 no, does, shot every day. Mm. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Jessica. Okay, um, let's listen to... Fatima, please. Okay. Um, the the little thing to my best friend. Uh, he start in the morning, wake up at five a.m. and he takes a shower. Uh, after that, he prepares his little brother uh, for the school. Uh, in the morning, uh, he prepares the breakfast and start to study at nine a.m. He finishes studies at 11 a.m. and starts to prepare the lunch. After <sighs> that, uh, he, uh, he plays with his dog. And at 5 p.m., he watches TV. Later, uh, after that, he um, what, he watches a movie with, uh, with his brothers. And finally, he, he sleeps at 9 a.m. 9 p.m., Sorry. Okay, Fatima. Well, thanks for doing I mean, thanks for emphasizing the third person singular. I could nurse you did your best effort. Thank you. Let's listen to ladies Cecil. Good evening. Good evening. Um... My friend's name is Judith. 
she gets up at uh, 5 a.m., takes the bedroom and chains, same has breakfast, goes to work. She worked as a school secretary, has lunch at uh, 12 p.m. And her departure time is at 4 p.m. Then she is on her way home to take her of her gears. This it's this old. That's all. Thank you, ladies. Thanks. Thanks. Uh let me see. Uh Carlo Josue, go ahead, please. Uh, <clears throat> Good here. My friends get up, get gets up at 5 a.m. and goes to the play soccer in the morning. At the goes to the go work at 8 a.m. and the major offices in the La Union. He goes to for lunch at 12 p.m. and take her of himself her same month or your the return at work and at 1 p.m. does and does in her job until 4 p.m. That's all. Okay, he take care or he takes care. He takes care. Excellent. Sorry. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. Okay. Ellen Nilsson, go ahead. Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Hope you're ready. Ellen Nilsson. Well, maybe Ellen Nilsson. I don't know, maybe she's he's facing problems now. Henry, please. Good evening, Henry. Good evening, teacher. Um my friend friend. He gets up at six AM. They then get ready for work. I have breakfast at 8 a.m. Prepare all administrative documentation. I have phoned all the customers. What he doesn't do is exercise. He doesn't play basketball. Thank you, Henry. He doesn't play basketball. Hey, Henry, uh, as a recommendation, do be the favor to make emphasis in the third person singular in affirmative statements. He take, he takes, he get, or he gets. Okay. Okay, so make emphasis on that, please. Okay, thank you. William Aristides. Hello, William. Hello, hello. Okay, let's listen then to Jennifer Rivas. Jennifer. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good, evening. Good, evening, teacher. Good evening. My good friend, my youth manufacturing, she is doing it's no administration. He is very present. William has achieved excellent. She is a very admirable personnel. Favorite musical group is more. Thank you. Okay. I think everybody participated, right? 
Oh, uh, I mean, Jennifer, did you participate? Jennifer Hernandez? Hello, Jennifer. Well. Hello, hello. Hello, did you, okay. Did you talk already about your best friend? Yes, repeat, please. Uh, ¿Ya presentó la info de su mejor amigo? Sí, fui la uh, primera. Yeah, you were the first. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking about it, ¿ok? But I think everybody did, right? Creo que la mayoría ya participó con respecto a eso. Well, let's go over the activities again. ¿Ok? Over here, we have daily routines, ¿ok? What is the, the objective that you uh, are able to um, ask uh, partners questions about their daily routines and give answers about no my routines? Let's start. No me da señal aquí. No, no. Es que me duele, necesito meterlo ahí. Ajá. One of the questions is what do you do every day? What do you do every day? Hey, what do you do every day? What do you do every day? So you can mention only one thing, something that you do every day, okay? You have it over there in the chat. I have, for example, Oneida Chicas create software. Okay, now. Vayan diciéndome las oraciones en afirmativo, por favor. Oneida, chicas. Oneida, chicas. Eh, Carlos Josué, ¿cómo crearía la oración afirmativa con create software? Oneida, Oneida chica. Create software. Creates software. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now let me see. Uh, Denise, Oneida, chicas. Repair computer. Repair computer. Uh, why is it repair? Repair or repairs? Repairs. Remember, this, that's why I'm, I'm trying to do this exercise this way. Repairs. Oneida Chicas repairs computers. Remember, third person singular. Don't forget it. Okay. Okay, now, uh, Fatima Molina. Oneida Chicas. Fatima? I escribió. Uh, she typed it. Okay. What is the sentence uh, uh, with install antivirus? Oneida Chicas. Installs antivirus. Excellent. That's the way it is, right? So now let's go over to negative. Negative statements, okay? Negative. Don't. Nelly Pineda. Okay, who wants to help me with this one? Ahora son oraciones negativas. Nelly Pineda. Nelly Pineda. Doesn't okay. Nelly Pineda. Let me see this because no. Nelly doesn't. Pineda doesn't. Doesn't. Cell computer. Computer. Okay, that's a computer. Uh, computer okay. programs. Program. Yeah, Nelly Pineda doesn't doesn't computer programs. Computer that that doesn't programs. what? This is the verb. Doesn't exchange 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 information, information. About, about programs. About programs. programs. All right. So let's go over the next. Vamos con el otro.
Ricardo Mata. Do Keeps have track. Ricardo Mata. Ricardo Mata. Do have track on the shade. No, I mean, what is the verb? Este no, no, es el verbo. Este no, 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 no. El verbo está acá. Keeps. This. Ricardo Mata. Keeps. Excellent. Por ahí los oigo haciendo bien la pronunciación. Keeps. Track on the sales. Ricardo Mata. Rice reports. Excellent. Rice reports. Good. Ricardo Mata. Buys. 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 Merchandise. Merchandise. New merchandise. New merchandise. All right. Very good. Now, on the other hand, let's go over this. Vamos con la otra. Don't. Max Pinto. Max Pinto doesn't, doesn't. receive money from self. Excellent. Does Max Pinto doesn't receive money from sales. Okay. Max Pinto. Doesn't decide what, what to buy. What to buy. Excellent. So that's what I want you to do. Now, read it again to answer the questions. Compare with the partner. Ahora, para contestar una pregunta de do o das, Aquí o lo do tenemos. Eh, podemos responder sí o no de la siguiente manera. Ah, let me see. No. Okay. Okay. Yes, I do. For ex yeah, simple like that, right? So, let's see, my, you need to read the information again. Do yes, Nay dying nearly work with softwares? Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Can you see ahí no. Nelly? Uh, no. Okay, but we're not gonna leave it like that, right? No. Vamos a poner una no. coma. They, they do. No, no, they don't. No, no doesn't. No, they don't. No, they okay, don't. porque tenemos okay. dos personas, ¿ok? okay ya, no es, ya, ya no es tercera persona. Si tuviéramos solo Oneida, sí. No, mm -hmm. she doesn't, hubiésemos dicho. Pero tenemos Oneida sí. y tenemos a Nelly. No, she doesn't. Okay. Okay. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Ok, so, do me the favor to complete the other ones. Díctenme cómo quedarían las otras, por favor. Do Ricardo en Max. Esta es la página. Permitan. 23. 23, ¿verdad? 23. Ya, yeah, 23. En la 23 está. Ok, díctenme por favor cómo quedarían las respuestas de estas. Do you need an cell antivirus? No, they don't. No, they don't. Yeah. Una coma va después de no. No, they don't. No, they don't. End of period. No se olviden del punto. No, they don't. Number three. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. What? No. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? No, they don't. Yes or no? Yes. Max and Ricardo keep track on sales, write reports. Okay. Yes. They, yes, they do, right? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, they do. No. Yes. Comma, they do. They, yes, they, they do. do. 
Yes, they do. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, ya, ya les voy a pedir a algunos que me compartan a ver cómo les quedó la actividad, esta actividad. Acuérdense que hay que irlo completando entre todos. Do Data and Nelly install programs? Yes. Mira, de que la orden, la, la orden de cuatro vale cuatro cincuenta, ¿no? Que me sale mejor la orden. No. De igual. No, they don't. Quiero una orden también. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> okay, no. Comma, they don't. No, they don't. Good. Okay, so this is the way we answer about it, people. Hope you could solve it. Aquí me Mira si las coronas las metieron todas para venderlas. Okay, now. Quiero una. And, and this is the explanation, people. Eh, teacher, este por ratos me está fallando el Zoom, me, me saca de la sesión. Este, Luis. Sí, eh, no sé si, si compartió el, el, el enlace del libro donde estamos trabajando, que ahorita se, me, me he perdido. Ya, yeah, Luis, eh, it is in, I mean, it is in the in WhatsApp. Yesterday I shared it. This. A ayer lo compartí en el WhatsApp. Sí. ¿Lo puedo visualizar? Yes. Ahorita, ahorita lo confirmo. Ok. Yes. Ok, you can see it from there. Ok, now, the explanation is over here, people. Acá tenemos la la explicación de esto de él. Aquí está. Excelente, Luis. You got it, right? All right. Okay, now, as, as I told you, right, so you start by using do or does, right? Depends on the on the person, right? But in this case, we're using I, you, they, and we. Do I get up early? Do you call other companies? Do they transport the product? Or do we check the policies? Now you only have two options, right? It all depends on your answer. You say, do I get up early? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you call other companies? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do they transport the product? Yes, they do or no, they don't. Do we check the policies? Yes, we do or no, we don't. Now, let me see. Okay, do me the favor to work in this part, please. The favor to, to work in this part. Y va, después que terminen esto, yo les voy a dar, quiero ver, 10 minutos. 10, 10 minutos para que terminen esto. Luego van a crear cinco preguntas. Ok, que le van a hacer a sus compañeros. Cinco preguntas de yes, no. Okay. Yes, no. Uh -huh. Just no questions. Okay. Uh, en total, pues, vamos a tratar de invertir unos 12 minutos en esto. Okay. Page 24. Trabajemos en la página 24. Cuando terminen los 12 minutos, yo voy a empezar a preguntar. Okay. All right. 12 minutes, 12 minutes.
Teacher, ¿y las cinco, las cinco preguntas las hacemos aquí, ahorita? Yes, now, now. Okay. Okay, okay so ahorita. try to get uh, five questions and ask, I mean, those questions okay. to your classmates.
Okay, I hope that you have created the questions. Eh, teacher, una pregunta nada más para cualquier compañero. Yes, I mean five, five questions. Tiene que ser cinco preguntas extra. Okay, people, I think it's important to start now so that we can uh, we can put into practice um, the way to create questions, uh, just the questions with simple present tense. Okay, what would be the first question over here, people? You were a company? Hello? Do you work company? Do you work company? Do you work at a company? Do you work in a company? Yes, you mark. Now, this may be one, one of the questions, right? Yes, yes I do. I do. Now, for example, if I ask, yes, I do. Yes, sorry. Yes, I do. Yeah. So, for example, if I ask, um, uh, Carlos Jose, Carlos Jose, do you work in a company? Yes, I do. Okay, Carlos Jose works in a company. Okay. Okay. Let's go over the next one, number two. What's the question over here? Do they check product? Do they check the product? Question mark. Do they check the product? No. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. No, they don't. They don't. Number three, we listen customers. Do we listen? Do we listen customer? Customer. Do we? Listen, Listen the customers. Oops. Do we listen? But over here we say, do we listen to the customers? Listen to. Yes. We do. Yes, we do. Number four, I buy a new material. I buy the new material. Sorry? Do I buy new material?
Do I buy a new material? No. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, number five. Do Milena and Pablo design the logo? Good. Do Milena and Pablo. Design the logo. Teacher, y ahí se puede poner they. Yeah, do they? Yeah, because we already know about Milena and Pablo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do they design the logo? They design the logo. Okay. Uh, do Milena and Pablo design the logo? Yes. Design. Yes. They do. yes. They do. Yes, they do. Good. Oh. O sea, si puedes sustituir los nombres. Yeah, exactly. Acuérdense okay. que el pronombre es el que sustituye el nombre. Okay. Yes. El pronombre yes. sustituye el nombre. Bien, puede decir, por ejemplo, Carlos works in a, in a restaurant. Carlos trabaja en un restaurante. O he works in a restaurant. All right, so it equals that way. Okay, uh, vamos a hacer pareja solo cinco minutos para que hagan las cinco preguntas. ¿Qué va a suceder después de eso? Después de eso, eh, bueno, nos vamos a reunir acá nuevamente, pero ustedes este, solo nos van a decir qué es lo que hace la, la otra persona. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, eh, do, you, do you study English? Y la otra persona dice, yes, I do. Ah, entonces voy a escribir, uh, si por ejemplo le, le hice la pregunta a Ellen Nilsson, Ellen Nilsson studies English, studies English. ¿Ok? I don't know if you, if you got. Si usted le pregunta, por ejemplo, hey, do you study English? Cuando estén en pareja, do you study English? Uh, Ellen Nilsson, do you study English? Y Ellen Nilsson dice, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Entonces, usted va a escribir Ellen Nilsson studies, studies English. English. Ajá. Yes. Eh, studies English. Si usted le pregunta, eh, do you watch movies at night? Mira películas en la noche. Eh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Si, si, si le dice no, entonces... But Ellen Nilsson doesn't watch movies at night. ¿Ok? De esa manera vamos a estar eh, practicando las preguntas de sí o no. Y al mismo tiempo vamos a estar practicando oraciones positivas y negativas. ¿Ok? Tengo 12 personas. Vamos a tener 6 parejas. ¿Ok? Va, recuérdense, vamos a tener que 6 minutos creo que es suficiente. Mm. Seis minutos. Diga que se puede pasar más. Porque como hasta ahora la hice, ya se puede pasar más. Yo estoy en clase, estoy en clase. Sí. Ok, hope you're ready. Seis minutos, siete máximo para esta actividad, ok? See you soon. Los veo al ratito. Hola, hola. Denis, ¿me escucha? Hola. ¿Me escucha? Sí. Ah, ok. Va, este, vamos a crear las cinco preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, do you, do you work, no, do you watch movie? Eh, no, 
I don't. No, you. At night. Perdón, ¿cómo? No, estoy creando la. Ah. Do, do you watch movies at night? No, I don't. Me no. No. No, I don't. Vaya, ya tenemos la primera suya. Vaya, entonces podemos poner. Do you. Do you study? Study? English? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Vamos a ver la número tres. Puede ser, eh, do you play soccer? No, I don't. Play soccer? No, I don't. Okay, Carlos, re remember, oh. eh, eh, you, okay. Will create, you will create the sentence according to what she answered. Si usted le dice, do you play soccer? ¿Juegas al fútbol? Y él le dice, no, I don't. Entonces usted va a escribir la versión, Denise doesn't play sí. soccer. Okay. Sí, 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 sí. Ok, sí, okay good. Thank you. Yeah. Vamos por la cuatro ya. Entonces, ahora vamos a ver cuál ponemos. Ay. Ay. Are you studying in the night? ¿Usted está estudiando esta noche? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Eh, 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 ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es su trabajo, Jennifer? Para hacer una, una pregunta acerca de su trabajo, a que yo le pregunte y... Y en su trabajo, ¿a usted le apasiona lo que hace? En este caso, ¿usted en qué, en qué está ejerciendo? Cajera. Cache. 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 Y atención al cliente, customer service. Y en ventas también. Creo que, Yo creo bueno. que en ventas. ¿Y cómo, Jennifer, cómo le van las ventas? Y usted ya me va a decir. Así mejor. Ay, reventada. Estamos mal. Estamos ahorita. Hola. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, William. Is, Hola, er tí. is everything eh. all right? Hola, teacher. Eh, William, no se le escuchó nada, no, no habló nada. Okay, okay, so William is not... Well, Jennifer, do me the favor to create the questions then. Vamos, vamos a suponer que él le contestó, ¿verdad? Y le dijo, sí, no, sí, no. Y, este, okay. y usted cree las oraciones, ¿ok? Okay. Ya casi terminamos, son dos minutos nos van quedando, ¿ok? Yo, yo ya hice tres oraciones. Ok, excelente. Ok, teacher. Yes. No, ya está. No, todavía no, creo que no está preparándose con nosotros en la reunión. Creo que va a poner... Eh, Yes, Fatima likes English. Ahí ya vamos a poner el like. Yes, yes. Quiero ver cómo se pone aquí no. para contestar. Quiero ver. Espérame, espérame. Oh, sí. Entonces. Fatima likes English. Así tengo entendido que lo vamos a poner como está en el, en el chat ahorita. 
te mandé un, un, un ejemplo. Pero, y, si, si se encuentra el teacher... Hay, bueno, yo, me, yo me sale, yo me sale, yes, I like it. Así me sale a mí, uh -huh. no sé. Pero cuando es en primera persona, es cuando habla de usted misma, digamos. Ajá. Yo digo que hagamos primero una de esas y después buscamos dos de las otras. Digo yo. Sí, también. Usted me va a contestar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Sí. Ahí, ahí está el teacher, pregunta. <risa> teacher. Hello, hello, Henry. Eh, en, la, en, la, en, la, en la pregunta afirmativa ya no es necesario responderle. Porque estamos... Um, Formulando uh, una, por ejemplo, que dice, Elenilson, do you like electronic music? Yo contesto, yes, I do. Okay. Do you like electronic music, Elenilson? En el Nilsson yes, said, I... yes, I do. Él dice, yes, I do. I do. Entonces, yes, I do. Okay. usted va a escribir la versión eh, Erenilson likes. He like. ah, el, el likes likes electronic like. okay. music. Okay. Okay. Y, en la, y en las negativas, teacher, por ejemplo, Don't... si yo le pregunto, you, do you li, la, live in Santa Ana, Erenilson? El, el y él contesta, no, I don't. Entonces, no, I don't. Entonces usted escribe la oración, Erenilson doesn't live in Santa Ana. Mm. Ok. Entonces, okay. Solo le vamos a agregar el sí, le gusta. Okay. Ah, es que nosotros habíamos puesto el Enilson, he doesn't. No, live. lo que pasa es que no. podemos poner he, do, he doesn't live también, ¿verdad? En vez yeah. de nombre también. Instead of, okay. Sí, no pueden poner el Enilson y de ahí poner he. No. Y porque no, no, o ponen ah, el en sí, sí. o pues lo ponen he. Okay. Ah, ok. Ah, pues uh -huh. okay. Es que no me refería. Ok, thank you. Ya casi terminamos. Un minuto y comenzamos. Okay, ya estamos con dos entonces. Espera la tercera. Ajá. Bueno, nos faltan. <risa> Do you have brothers? Ajá, uh, o oh, si escucho música por las noches. Ah, también. Esperanza. Do. ¿Cómo sería? Quiero ver. Listen. Do listen. <risa> music. Ordinal. Listen music. I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Espera. Mm -hmm. Do, do no, you? That... No. Okay. Ajá. Esperanza Dawson. Ajá, uh -huh, Listen Music. Sí. ¿O cómo que es? No, Listen es como escuchando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Quiero ver cómo se escribe. ¿Cómo se escribe? Listen, así. Se escribe. Listen. Ajá. Listen, se escribe. Do, do you listen? Tengo ese error ahorita. No entiendo. ¿Lo encontró? Eh, no, fíjese que por estarlo buscando, pero me, ahorita ¿Vale? me, se me salió, pero ahorita ojalá primero Dios no, no se me salga. Vaya, ahorita estamos en la clase, le voy a tomar el, la captura. 
Usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí. Ahí se lo voy a mandar. Okay, everybody. I think you had enough time, right? I I, I hope you have had um, time. enough time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now listen. Just just let's try to share some info you got from the just no questions. Okay. Um, let's see, Jennifer. I, I I heard you were practicing. Uh, just no questions, and I think you got some some information. Okay, Jennifer, go ahead. Here. Eh, solo que y me quedé con una duda. Era con respecto a, a cómo iba a hacer la respuesta de él, ¿verdad? Cuando él me decía, yes, I do. Or, or, no, no, I don't. No, no, I don't. Well, um, él podía usar dos opciones nada más, ¿verdad? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Eh, eh, pero... Don't. Para yo a usted, o sea, para ponerla yo en, acá, porque igual yo la puse como yes I do y, y... y no, no, I don't. Pero uh -huh. ya, para no, la hora de decirla a usted, o sea, la respuesta, ahí me perdí. No, I mean, <laughs> la respuesta es, era, es la correcta, la que le está dando, yes I do or no I don't, pero... Si, por ejemplo, usted le preguntó, ¿juegas al básquetbol? Y él dijo, sí. Sí juego. Entonces, usted tenía que crear la oración. Luis Reyes juega al básquetbol. Ok. Ok. So, don't worry. Si no lo ha hecho todavía, entonces vamos a, a pedirle a alguien más que nos ayude. Mira, para después, que eso, en eso me equivoqué. Las preguntas sí las hicimos y tengo las respuestas, pero no la tengo así con, construida así. Uh, okay, so let us let us try to get them. Okay, let's Thank see. You. You're welcome, uh, Henry. What did you get, Henry? Okay, teacher. Uh, trabajamos con el Nimson, entonces ahí vamos a preguntarle. Do you live in Santa Ana, el Nimson? Uh, no, I don't. He doesn't like life in Santa yeah. Ana. Do you do you work in the hospital, Ellen Nilsson? No, I don't. Uh, he doesn't work in the hospital. Do you do you watch movie in the morning, Ellen Nilsson? No, I don't. Ellen Nilsson doesn't watch movie movies in the morning. Yes, yes. Do you do you like electronic music, Ellen Nilsson? Yes, I do. Ellen Nilsson likes electronic music. Do you eat pizza, Ellen Nilsson? Yes, I do. Ellen Nilsson eat pizza. Okay, Ellen Nilsson eats pizza. Eats. Eats. All right, thank you. So, Ellen Nilsson, do you have info about Henry? Se las puedo hacer las mismas. Ya, yeah, I mean. Okay. Henry, uh, do you live in Santa Ana? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, Henry. Uh, 
Tiene que me conecta el audio. No, no. ¿Me escuchan? Uh -huh. que me conecta el audio. Yeah, we do listen to you, uh, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, te pregunté, uh, Henry, do you live in Santa Ana? Yes, I do. He do live in Santana. Okay, Elenilson. Now, is that right, Elenilson? I mean, Segunda. Uh, Henry. Do you like electronic music? Yes, I do. He do like electronic music. He do like or he likes. Perdón, he likes. He likes. He likes electronic music. Henry, uh, do you work in the hospital? No, uh, I don't. Henry doesn't works in the hospital. Okay. Uh, Henry, do you watch movie in the morning? No, I don't. Henry doesn't watch watch movie in the morning. Henry, do you eat pizza? Yes, I do. He do eat pizza. Then you say he eats pizza. He eats pizza, perdón. He yeah. eats pizza. He okay. Pizza. That's it, Ellen Nelson? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Listen, we're going to stop over here. Vamos a... Hacer una pausa acá. Voy a pasar lista. Y quiero que por favor. Ah, pues hagan el, ejer el ejercicio. De esta sesión que sería la. El ejercicio 7. La tarea 7 de la plataforma. Aparte sí. de eso. Les recuerdo que esta semana tienen el midterm. Ok. Ya prácticamente segunda semana y tenemos eh, evaluación ahí en la plataforma. Háganla, por favor, porque el viernes vamos a estar haciendo un repaso de eso. Uh, well, let me see. Voy a pasar lista. Hello. Teacher, eh, tuve problemas en la plataforma el día de ayer. No sé si a los compañeros la respuesta que pusieron, hay una salieron en roja. Y yo la, en realidad las contestaba bien, pero ahí me aparecían en roja dos preguntas. Sí, este, ahora resolvimos los ejercicios y yo les decía uh, por ahí a los, que, a los que tuvieron ese mismo problema que algunas veces sucede porque no usamos eh, capital letter o mayúscula al inicio de la uh -huh. oración o, o un punto al final o si es pregunta, el signo de interrogación no lo pusimos. Este, pueden haber eh, pequeñas, pequeños errores y por eso el, eh, la plataforma no los acepta. Revisen, por yo, favor. Yo, yo lo hice de esa manera, le cambié eh, las mayúsculas, le puse el punto y tampoco. Y lo hice con una experta que sabe inglés y tampoco me dijo que, que estaba bien escrito, pero que no que no me daba la plataforma a aceptar. Ah, vaya. Compañera, se tenía que colocar sin abreviar la palabra completa. No se tenía ah, que colocar, ah, sino que do, do not. Había que probar también si, si, si lo aceptaba de manera abreviada, si eso sí, no, este, no, no lo había visualizado, o de manera contractada también podría... Podría este, probar con, de ambas maneras. Ahora, si, si aún así el problema pues, todavía persiste, pongan en el grupo que hay, este, digamos, este, 
alguna dificultad en cierto ejercicio. Compañera Esperanza cree que lo puede, lo puede compartir así como, como dice que lo puso usted. Ah, sí, lo voy a mandar en, en WhatsApp. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Thank you. Ok. Sí, gracias, porque también a mí me quedaron pendientes las dos últimas. Y, pero igual yo estaba viendo el ejemplo que usted estaba dando, teacher, y igual lo voy a implementar más lo que envíe la compañera, porque sí... Si, Sí, sí, es dos, me quedaron faltando. Ok, ok. So, let me know about it. Eh, Carlos Josué. I'm here, teacher. Denise Elizabeth. Edgardo Daniel. Edwin Osvaldo. Aquí estoy. Uh, Denise, right? Sí. <ríe> Edwin Osvaldo. Hey, primer día que no veo a, a Edwin acá. El Nilsson, over here. Eh, esper okay. Esperanza. Sí, presente. Eh, Evelyn, presente. Jan Evelyn Yanira. Fátima Michel. Presente. Gabriela Jazmín. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Ahí son Juan Carlos. Julio César. Ladies. Present teacher. Luis José Reyes. Present teacher. Uh, Luis is there, right? Present teacher. Obed. Wendy Carolina. Compañera Esperanza. Eh, ahí le mandé al chat la, la imagen para que usted me pueda ayudar. Jennifer Madali. Here, coach. All right. Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, so that's it. Well, como esta semana de evaluación, pues ahora no le... Present teacher, present teacher. Okay, William. Okay, William. Uh, Esta semana de evaluación, uh, pues no le voy a estar dejando mucha tarea para que logren eh, trabajar en eso. Solo vamos a resolver el ejercicio de esta noche y pues nos vamos a despedir. Ok. Let me see. This I told you, right? Uh, number seven, right? So this is the one. Uh, do you like music? What is the answer for that question? Yes? Yes, I do. Yes, I yeah. do. Yes, I do. Good. Now, does Zara know English? Does Zara knows? No, does Zara know English? No, no she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She no, doesn't. She doesn't. Do you and uh, Wendell play the guitar? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Does Roberto work in a bank? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Do Laura and Sally study in the morning? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, let's let us check it. ¿Cuál era la primera, teacher? The first one. Do you like music? Yes, I do. Yes. Uh -huh. y de yes, ahí... I do. 
Да, Зара, но английш, но считается. Окей, check it there, please. Well, actually, we're gonna see, we're gonna see the answer, so. Mister. Yeah, do you like music? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, let us ask the question. Hagan la pregunta, por favor, a alguien en el, en el grupo. Y con eso cerramos. Don't you like music? Okay, to whom? ¿A quién la pregunta? Do you like music? Y do. Y do. Yes, I do. Ah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, do you like music? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Now, ask the second question, please. Yes, I do. Second question. Hagan la siguiente pregunta, por favor. Does Sarah know English? Does Sarah know English? No. No, she doesn't. No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She Number doesn't. three. Ask the we, question, please. We, do you and we, when we, will we, play the we, guitar? Do you and when they play the guitar? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Number four. Does Roberto work Robert, in the bank? Roberto work in the bank. Uh -huh. no, no, he doesn't. He, no, he, he doesn't. He, he doesn't. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. And the last one. Do oh, Laura and Sally study in the morning? Yes, do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right. So I hope, well, we have been working a lot in simple present. Tomorrow we will continue doing so. Okay, mañana vamos a continuar trabajando arduamente en, en esto. Y en algunas otras cosas por ahí, quiero ver. Las oraciones quedaron pendientes. Las oraciones y también eh, para mañana. Este. Eh, van, a, van a compartir el álbum, ¿ok? El álbum de las, de las Professions and Occupations, ¿ok? Mañana lo comparten. Eh, por supuesto, van a, van a elegir unas cinco profesiones en donde nos van a explicar eh, cuáles son las funciones que hacen las personas que trabajan eh, en determinada área, ¿ok? So, but that is for tomorrow. Well, I don't know if you have any question. Do you have any question? Any comment? Teacher, Gabriela, Gabriela es mi compañera de trabajo en la misma empresa y ella tuvo un conveniente familiar. La mamá falleció hoy en la noche. Oh, cuánto lo siento. Así que no, por eso no está acá presente. Bye. Bueno, de igual manera le van a llamar por teléfono. Nuestra más. Y sentir este... la condolencia para la compañera. Sí. Gracias. Son momentos Gracias. duros, ¿verdad? Que uno. Sí. Yo creo que nadie está preparado para, para ese tipo de situaciones. Sí. Y este, hágale llegar nuestro más sentido pésame a la a la compañera por ahí de acuerdo, gracias ok algún otro comentario o alguna otra pregunta si no hay pues let us see tomorrow Vamos a, nos reunimos sí, mañana sí. a la misma hora tell me eh, Henry no hay problema eh, si avanzamos más en la plataforma, ¿va? No. Porque 
Bueno, por lo menos yo en la plataforma estoy tratando de avanzar porque en algunas otras cosas sí me falta, <ríe> me falta bastante porque estoy saliendo bien temprano al trabajo y ya vengo justo siete y media, solo a medio con media a la clase. Entonces, Okay. este, por lo menos después de la clase estoy tratando de avanzar, como dije, en la plataforma y por eso preguntaba si no es problema. No, eso no es problema. Si, si ustedes quieren, por lo menos esta semana tienen el midterm. Eh, si ustedes lo quieren eh, trabajar, digamos, hoy en la noche o mañana y ya dejar eso pues terminado, pues háganlo, háganlo, ¿verdad? Traten de hacer su mejor esfuerzo. para que obtengan un buen resultado ahí. Ah, lo mismo con las actividades de la plataforma. Ya, como dijo Henry, es bueno que ustedes se familiaricen con los ejercicios y ya cuando pues, los resolvamos, usted nada más este, vea si efectivamente lo realizó de manera correcta o si hay que hacer algún feedback o algún, este, algún repaso de algo. ¿okay? También es válido. Eh, teacher, yo solamente eh, comentarle que, que por mi, mute, mi, mi trabajo muchas veces, eh, a veces aprovecho el mediodía, bueno, de, desde que me comencé ya a incorporar, ya que los primeros días eh, comentaba de que por el tema de trabajo estuve yendo tres noches prácticamente a Santa Ana y, y ya venía como que bien tarde ¿va? y con, todavía con un vehículo de la empresa a la cual yo trabajo. Entonces, este... Entonces, ya, pero ya ahorita que estoy ya más frecuente, este, eh, por rato al mediodía veo si, si avanzo algo, o, o si no, como dijo el compañero, vengo ya casi solo con un examen y a, y a prepararme ya para recibir la clase, va. Por eso es que quizás como que estoy un poco atrasado eh, en el tema del, de la tarea, que deja individual de la, de la plataforma. Ok, Luis, no, no se preocupe porque todavía estamos a tiempo, ¿verdad? Lo importante es que usted se mantenga haciendo las actividades. Ya esta es la segunda semana y, este, y hay una evaluación, ¿verdad? Que es el midterm. Asegúrese de, de hacer las actividades, ¿ok? Que tiene pendiente y, por supuesto, de realizar el, la evaluación de la semana. Ok, Luis. Yes, I do. Ok, so, si no hay más preguntas o comentarios, nos reunimos mañana. Tons of blessings. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, Good teacher. Night. Good night. Good night.